Matthew, mm-hmm. you're setting the record straight. That's beautiful, man. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm just, I'm just saying what happened. This is therapy, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it's <laughs> Let it all good. out. Yeah. Let it all out. Mm-hmm. Well, how did you deal with the in in those days the fan base themselves? I mean, in those days, did they storm hotels? Did they climb over walls? Did they try and get in houses? Did oh, they do all, all this all thing? That? Yeah, that's that's a good question. Uh, I mean, it's just I mean, it, I, it's intriguing. I'm trying to well, I'm trying to lead uh, you down roads here. <laughs> I, I nev- yeah, that's a good road. Uh, I never had. I was never stalked by any fans myself. Yes, you were. Well, Damn. okay, I mean, yeah, a little bit, on. but not. But I did see when I was living with Bobby. Uh, I mean, there, he, there was some uh, fans that used to try to call, cl- crawl over his fence and get into his house. Mm. And as you probably know, uh, George Harrison had a fan sneak into his house mm. and stabbed him with a yeah, knife. Yeah, I do. I do. And okay. so you get some really crazy ones. Out. I don't know who this woman was that was stalking Bobby, and but uh, the, he finally he had to. Put a restraining order out on her, and so there get some crazy people out there. But you never stalked. Not that I'm aware of. Are I you mean, disappointed? I, no, no, <laughs> never, never, no. You know, I, a fame is greatly. I, I'm actually happy that I'm not like a a famous musician when I walk down the we, street. Yeah, we said this the other day. Sorry to put in <laughs> there. We said this the other day, didn't we? We, we, Bobby, we was talking about this, and we said the other day if we had the choice, we, yeah. Uh, and uh, hopefully uh, after I've just let, listened to what you've just said, that we would never like to get to the such state of being famous where you couldn't walk down the street. I could not cope with that. No, no. And, and you know, rightly so. Uh, I, I may have, I don't think I told the story last time, but I was with Bobby Weir in the, in New York when we were do, when they were doing that, uh, what's that big thing they did with Dylan and uh, they made a film out of it. Um, oh, the, the Last Waltz. The, yeah, I think it's the last waltz, and um, I don't know how I happened to be with Bobby. He, he wasn't playing there, but uh, uh, Bobby and I went to the event, and Bobby wore a disguise, a beard, and some sunglasses and mm-hmm. everything. And, and to, just so he wouldn't, because he in in the east coast of America, he would get mobbed. Wow, because they they're much more fanatical out on the east mm-hmm. coast. So, um, fanatical and dangerous. It can be, it yeah. Can be and on, on the East Coast, they're very aggressive. Uh, um, well, you know, you're from New York. You, guys, you got a problem with that man? I'm from New York. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, hang on a minute. You've, you've just you're you're talking, just, who are you just, talking to, man? Yeah, who are you Come talking on. to, man? You just I nailed, have some friends, man. <laughs> you just nailed the, the English guy, and now you've uh, gone over to New York. Yeah, <laughs> Tony Soprano is my best friend. Oh yeah, Come and on. Luigi and Jerry the Crusher too. Yeah. <laughs>